guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna be doing this fall look that I have right here. This is actually using all affordable products, mostly from the drugstore. Um, I have a few ColourPop products in here. So that's literally the only not drugstore product, but it's still very affordable. So a lot of these products I got at Target, Walmart, and um, where else? Ulta, the affordable section. You can find these, most of them, um, at CVS, Walgreens, Rite Aid, you know, anywhere they sell makeup. I think the look came out so bomb. I would never think that this is just like a drugstore makeup. You guys are gonna see, I do a full cream contour with my skin, I do a full beat. So you guys really wanna watch this video because I never do, first of all, I hardly ever do cream contour to begin with and the fact that I did today, girl. And I use some bomb products. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Please don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel if you have not, and ring the notification bell if you haven't already so you're notified when I post my new videos. But yeah, without further ado, let's get into this fall glam. So I'm gonna start off with my brows today. I'm actually gonna be using the ColourPop Brow Boss Pencil, and this is in the shade Ash Brown. I just bought a bunch of these, a bunch of these pencils for my freelance kit because I do do freelance makeup but I bought these because they're really good quality and they're only like five bucks each and I used to like spend so much money on these like Anastasia Beverly Hills brow wiz and stuff like that and honestly they're great those are great pencils and all but you get I feel like I burned through those so quickly and these are literally just as good and they're like five dollars so I could buy every shade if I wanted to. See how easy that was? Like I literally filled in my brow so quick. And actually this shade, Ash Brown, looks pretty good. Icky dokey. So I went to um, Target the other day and I actually got these um, from e.l.f. These are, this is the Matte for Matte Summer Breeze palette, which is so pretty. I think it's like perfect. It's a summer breeze, but I think it's like perfect for fall in my opinion. And then I also got the Rose Gold Sunset palette by e.l.f. So these are really, really pretty. Um, like I said, bomb. So I don't know if I'm gonna dip into those. I, I might dip into like each and every shade. So like, I don't know, um, or each and every palette. So I also have this one from Target. This is by the brand Makeup Obsession. And this is the, what is it, Belle, Belle Torden? I don't even know, girl. But um, this is the packaging on the outside. So I guess this is like a newish brand at not even the newish thing works. I got this few months back, but I never used it. And this is what the inside looks like. So the, again, this is super appropriate for fall. Look at that purple, it's so pretty. This one's bomb as well. And then, girl, I got these I think at Burlington. Oh no, I, think, I got these at Walmart. So these are the, so I got the Profusion Mattes palette. So this one's really pretty. I love how it says mattes, but it has like one random shimmer at the end. But um, this one's really, really pretty as well. Again, this one's really appropriate for all. I don't know how much it costs. It doesn't tell me right here, but I'll try and find the stuff and I'll like put it on the screen or like in a below like I always do. So this one's pretty. I have a feeling I'm gonna go into this one. Um, a little bit of the alpha because I think that one's really pretty. And the makeup um, obsession one, I don't think I'm gonna really dip into. Definitely gonna dip into these metallics though because I do wanna do something shimmery on the lid. So this is the Profusion Metallics palette and look how beautiful. And I know Profusion is more affordable. I think I'm gonna set my eyes really quickly. I'm gonna take my translucent powder. This is the Maybelline Fit Me powder. And I actually can't find the lighter shade of my Maybelline powder, which is what I need today. So I think I'm gonna have to like and do my normal powders because I can't find the lighter shade and this one is too dark for my under eye it'll actually see it kind of turned my I don't know if you can tell but it turned my eyeshadow base yellow so I might have to cheat a little bit on the translucent powder but just now I'm using the Maybelline Fit, Maybelline Fit Meet and Spirit I'm gonna start off with the elf matte for matte palette because I really do like this like neutrally brown they have in here um, to start off in the transition i'm actually going to go in with this so this one these two are really really pretty i think they're not too warm not too cool and the one in the um profusion palette it's a little warm and i don't really want to start off 
with a warm palette. So I'm going to take a Morphe R38. I'm going to mix these two shades together. You guys, I, I'm so sorry. I just like hardly ever use... I, know it's, I don't know how people are going to take this, but I normally only get my makeup at like Ulta and Sephora. And you know, I use a lot of luxury makeup. And it's not because I'm like, oh my god, she's like a bougie I don't, I'm not saying that. It's just that me personally, since I was little, my mom, um, like seeing my mom and how she used to do her makeup and like my mom always used to shop at Sephora for makeup. So I feel like that's just kind of like how I grew up, you know, it's not something I have against, you know, makeup of from the drugstore, like more affordable makeup because I really don't because I do use like ColourPop and things like that. I just hardly ever use makeup from the drugstore because I always find myself going back to my luxury stuff. And I know a lot of people are like, oh, like, a lot of people do have opinions about that, like how people use, you know, more luxury stuff and like kind of like calling them out. But it's like, I don't see anything wrong with it. That's the thing too, not all the time the higher quality or the higher quality stuff higher price stuff is going to be the best quality and that's what i've been learning as i've dabbled dabbled back into more into like the drugstore and that kind of world i'm actually going to dip into the profusion mattes palette oh this brush that it comes with is actually like pretty good quality this is actually a really really bomb brush like how i use like to blend out my concealer on the lid bomb so that's nice and i like how they have the names on the front i don't know if you can see with the lights oh there you go super bomb so i'm actually gonna dip into the shade i'm gonna dip into the shade proud right here i'm gonna take the same brush that i was using and i'm just gonna put it in the crease so instead of blowing this out like how i did i'm gonna put it in the crease more so I love how warm tones look on my eyes because I have brown eyes, but they're pretty, let's say like light brown. And I feel like every time I do like warm tones or purples, it just makes them look lighter. And I'm like, yes, give me the light eyes, please. Looks so good. And that's a nice trick if you do have brown eyes. Any warm tones look good. I feel like that's why a lot of people do gravitate towards warm tones because they're so like, they're so universal, so complimentary on everybody. So. I'm gonna see the shade Alert in the Profusion palette. So these actually, this palette doesn't really go too like deep. The, the deepest shade is called Madly, which is more like a burgundy shade, which is fine. I think I will hit in that, but um, I kind of want a little bit of a deeper brown maybe. So I might see, oh, the Elf shade, the Elf palette actually has a black. So I might um, tap a little into that. I know people are like sometimes scared to use black eyeshadow, but it's not bad actually. It's just in terms of like how you use it and how you just have to have a light hand with it. That's what I've learned with black eyeshadow. I'm gonna take that same brush and I'm gonna dip into the shade Madly, which is that deeper burgundy shade. I'm just gonna add that right here on the outer corner. I actually might hit you guys with the wing liner today because I am feeling cat eye. A cat eye moment. I'm feeling it. So, and no matter what, this is actually the liner that I'm using today is the liner I always use. So, actually, this is a drugstore product that is like in my Holy Grails, I would say. It's the Wet n Wild liner. I'm sure you guys right know if you guys know what I'm talking about. I go back and forth between that one or the, well, this is, I guess, another Holy Grail man, but I actually haven't been using it. It's been, like, over, like, nine months, I would say, since I've used it. Actually, I'm not even going to say timeline because I don't even know, but it's been a minute since I've used that one. I always use the Wet n Wild one, but the Tarte Double Take Liner, the one with, like, the du dual-sided, like, tardiest double take or something like that, that one's really good. I think of a session palette. The, they have a shade called Hot Sauce in here. Which is again like a burgundy tone, but I kind oh, and they have a bomb mirror in here too. So it's like you kind of get the mirror instead of the brush, which I don't mind. Let me see. This is like another burgundy tone, but 
Oh, actually, this is really pretty. It's more of like a brighter burgundy, which I really like. This palette's hella old, but I think I'm gonna just go in this direction. I'm gonna take the Jaclyn Hill palette, and I'm gonna take this like pinky rosy shade, and I'm actually gonna put that on my lid. So I'm gonna get my ring finger and just saturate it, and then just. I'm actually just packing it all over my lid. So I'm actually gonna take, so I have these by CoverGirl. It's like a, they're called the Exhibitionist Liquid Glitter Eyeshadows. So I have this shade, what is it? I think something blush, don't know. But this is how it looks. It's not really the vibe I want because this is, looks a little bit more like silvery tones. But I'm gonna add it on my eye just to give myself like a little pop of like glitter. I'm just gonna add it on my eye and I'm gonna blend it out with my finger. That's more like it. It gives me a little bit more pizzazz rather than just blah. So for liner today, I'm gonna be using the Wet n Wild Mega Liner. So this is what the liner looks like. Excuse my chip nail. Ew. Um, it's this one's a really really good liner. So this is my favorite drugstore liner. I've just bought a fresh one, so right out the package. It's my favorite liner, and it's just my favorite liner of all time. It's really good. The felt tip is not like the sharpest, but it is pretty good. So for my wing, I don't have I done a wing on camera. I don't know. <sighs> I don't know if I have. So for my wing, I start off the outer corner. So this is my lower lash line where it ends so i'm kind of just following that and i'm going up but i'm not starting on my lower lash line i'm starting at the edge of my lower lash line at the top of it so i'm starting there and i'm following the direction of how my lower lash line goes and do a pretty long line and then i just come kind of to the top and then i bring it down that's it. And then I just continue doing what I'm supposed to do. So then I come actually into the inner part. And I connect it to this. It looks like jagged right now. But then once everything's like filled in and stuff. Watch. I'll show you guys. So I'm actually just going to fill it in. I like this liner too because it's like super matte. And I don't really like a shimmery liner. So this is how my wing liner looks i think it looks super bomb honestly it's really bomb so i'm actually gonna do the other liner off of camera let me try a little bit do the other liner off of camera and then i'll come back and show you guys the face but i'm actually gonna start on the face i actually primed my face but i didn't have i didn't use all of like drugstore primers and stuff so i didn't want to show that stuff the only thing i really used drugstore was the nyx bear with me priming spray but everything else was normal because I don't have like a pore filling drugstore. Oh, actually I did, but I didn't use it. Um, I had the e.l.f. pore putty primer, but I didn't use it because I literally just saw that it was sitting right by here and I should have put it in front of me, but I didn't. So I used my regular no pore bone primer, but yeah, that's basically what I use. For foundation today, I'm actually gonna go with the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation. I almost called it the Maybelline Fits Me Foundation because I don't know if you guys heard of um, Skeleton here on YouTube. I'll link his channel down below, but he's so funny. I mean, not that he needs my shout out because he literally has like thousands upon thousands of followers. But um, yeah, he's so funny. I literally love him. I die of all his like commentary and stuff. It like makes me laugh so much. Um, he calls it the Maybelline Fits Me Foundation. I think that's hilarious so i'm actually gonna take this foundation i got shade 110 and 120 um i didn't know because sometimes like i don't know like drugstore foundations run a little bit weird um they're either too pink or too yellow so let's see. i think shade 120 is actually perfect so i'm gonna take that and i just rub it i'm gonna rub it in first with my fingers because my skin has been hella breaking out, so I find that if I rub it in with my fingers and then blend it out, it gives me a fuller coverage. So I'm actually gonna um, do my under eye concealer first. I'm gonna take the e.l.f. Um, okay, maybe this wasn't the best match for me. It's a little yellowy, but hopefully this concealer fix it. I'm gonna take the camo concealer. This is a shade Light Sand. I'm actually gonna mix it with the um, 
the lighter shade that I have because this one is a little bit yellow and my skin looks a little yellow so I kind of want to cancel that out. I have the shade Fair Warm which is really fair so I'm actually just going to take like three dots of that. Now I'm thinking about it, if you're a freelance makeup artist and you use like concealers like like out the bottle like that, the the 60 ounce wear one by um, e.l.f. is actually a really good one to have. I think it's only six dollars, so it runs pretty affordable and it's a really good concealer. Drugstore is just stepping it up, I think, just all together. Wow, that looks really bomb. This concealer literally melted into my skin. Okay, so I'm actually in a contour. I have the shade Deep Cinnamon. This is like literally the only tan shade they had at Target. So I'm actually gonna see how this one works. Okay, so I look really crazy. Don't mind that. But I always do my lip contour as well because, well, I never used to, but then I watched the Scott Barnes and Tati Westbrook video. I think he mentioned that or she had mentioned it prior. But basically, it makes your lips look appear fuller um, rather than just having to overline. Um, it gives you a, a, like a more natural, like fuller appearance. So that's why I did it. This is looking a little bit muddy, but I'm actually gonna fix it. I'm gonna go back in with a little bit more of my concealer, my fair concealer, and just kind of blend it out. take my Maybelline Fit Me powder and this is the lightest shade of the Fit Me powder. I'm gonna take my sponge like I always do. I'm gonna just set the under eye. Actually I think this um, powder is gonna neutralize everything pretty well since it is a lighter powder it'll make everything come together. This is not drugstore but I'm gonna take my Max Fix Plus because it's the, really the best the, bre the best spray to mount all my powders in. No shade, but I just, I'm sorry, I'm doing this spray. Okay, so I'm actually gonna finish up the um, lash line, the lower lash line. So I'm gonna take the Profusion palette. I'm gonna dip into that burgundy shade in there, which is Madly. Just put that on the lower lash line. Pretty much tight lining the lower lash line with this shade. I'm gonna take the shade Alert, which is that orangey shade. I'm gonna mix it with one of these lighter shades in the palette. I'm kind of just gonna dust that across the red shade. So I'm back with my lashes on, and I must admit, the lashes are a bit underwhelming, but it's like, that's fine. I mean, I guess I kind of just have to live with it, but whatever so I'm actually gonna start off with my face now I'm actually gonna do my normal like highlighting routine that I normally do so normally I do like a softer highlight first and then I go in with a more of a glowy tone a more packing a punch type of highlighter so I actually got this highlighting palette from elf so I think I'm gonna use that as my undertone highlighter because it doesn't look too pigmented to me. Okay, so I'm gonna take this middle shade at the top row. I'm just gonna, oh, actually not as underwhelming as I thought. Okay, so now I'm actually gonna start off my bronzer and I'm gonna use my Butter Bronzer by Physician Formula, which you guys know, this is like my jam. This is the light bronzer, which I think will be fine because my contour underneath is pretty dark already so I don't think I need anything too heavy this is my JH which one is two yeah JH02 brush which I love this brush I actually haven't touched this brush in like a minute and you guys I'm gonna tell you I bought the Tom Ford bronzer brush and it's not as good as this one and that one was like a hundred something dollars like hundred twenty dollars and it's not as good as this brush like this bronzer brush is my absolute favorite brush. I'm actually gonna take a bit of a contour shade and this is in the um, Catrice California in a Box palette. This is like a bronzer palette, but um, my Shape in a Box palette's actually not in front of me. I'm actually gonna take this lighter shade right here, 
just to kind of contour a little bit a little bit further not too much though because like i said i already have a lot going on underneath where it kind of just a little goes a long way on top of um creams and stuff once you already have creams laid underneath even though you've set it it still shines through Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take my highlighter. So I have the the Maybelline Master Foam highlighters, which I really love. I actually bought the because I had this one, but um, I ran out of it. So I actually have I got a new one, and then I got the peach one. So I have the rose gold one already, and I got the peach one. I want to try the peach one, and also another good highlighter from the drugstore are the Wet n Wild ones, which are bomb this one's the precious petal shade which is my favorite shade so i really really like those but i wanted to try the molten peach i think it'll go cute with this look and then also too i'm gonna try the i'm gonna put the gold one on too because i think the gold with the fall tones would just be perfect so i'm gonna just dust off my brush a little teensy bitsy bit i'm actually gonna start off with the peach one the peach one will go beautiful on the inner corner so i'm actually gonna do that right now um that's what i usually do i um take my um highlighting shade and that's what i pop my inner corner that's my inner corner highlight if i do it because sometimes i i will admit i don't do an inner corner highlight but it looks beautiful with this look now I'm going to take a little bit of the gold one just to kind of top it off because the gold one will still go with our look here that we have going on. But I'm going to keep this one mostly just on the high points of my cheeks. I'm actually going to take this blush from e.l.f. This is the, it's literally just called blushing and it looks like this. It looks a little pinky. So I actually might mix it, which I don't mind a pink blush. I actually really love pinky blushes, but I might mix it with Luminoso by um, Milani because that one's more of a peachy blush and I think that might be more of what I'm going for today. Only because I do have warm tones and pink might clash with that. Let's see how this, so this is the e.l.f. one. It's actually not really showing up. So I would say this e.l.f. one is really, really light, really light washer color. It's hardly giving me anything at all. So I'm actually gonna go in with Luminoso by Milani. And this one's well. This one's actually one of my favorite drugstore blushes. Look at that. It's like, what the heck? Milani um, baked blushes are really well. The flower ones are okay. I wouldn't say they're my favorite those are a little bit more on the powder side this one is bomb though look at that oh my god and i love blush so don't mind me you know me i always hit it everywhere okay last but not least gonna get these lippies popping so i'm actually gonna use a color pop pencil this is the oh my god it's a nub let me see if i have my sharpener so I'm actually gonna line, and this is, like I said, BFF2 by Colourpop. So BFF2, bomb. I take my Morphe lipstick, and this is in the shade Honey. That lip, lip combo together is a bomb. Like, really bomb. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop a gloss on, actually. This is the Makeup Obsession Gloss, and this is the shade happily which is a really pretty nude gloss and i'm gonna pop it on because i do feel like wearing gloss today usually i'm like matte this lip combo though the bff2 with honey lipstick my morphe is like a bomb combo the lip liner and the lipstick were a little bit more cool tone so this is a little bit more of a peachy nude and it looks fab i'm gonna take the milani make it last setting spray actually and i'm actually gonna use this to to set everything in place okay it's in me but that makeup obsession gloss literally just disappeared was it even a gloss i'm so confused yeah it says lip gloss it's not even gloss anymore confused confused so i'm actually going to pop a gloss on this is a catrice generation plump and shine lip gloss so that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had so much fun 
doing this makeup look with products. I definitely have some new Holy Girl products up in here. Um, one of them being that e.l.f. camo concealer because that was really really bomb honestly and the contouring even though like i said it got a little bit orangey but it's really bomb so i definitely 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 like that also another holy girl product that i forgot to mention here is the catrice shape in a box for my contour but i don't have it in here um I think it's in my makeup kit, my freelance kit, so I don't have it in here, but that's actually one of my favorite contouring from just contouring in general, not even just from the drugstore. It's actually one of my favorite contouring products. Um, it's really, really good. I normally use the Dior Backstage contouring palette, and that one, that contour shade in the Catrice one is actually perfect. Like, it's not too dark, not too light, and it's like the perfect warmth and cool tone mixed together. So that one I highly recommend. It also has a highlighting shade like for underneath the eyes, which is really bomb, but mine's like unfortunately broke. It like just, I think the pan like fell out. Um, but I mean, it was a really affordable price, so I don't really mind, but just letting it be known that it did fall out. Sorry, I'm like trying to fix my makeup. But yeah, my, this side looks really bomb because I don't have like any acne or anything going on, but this side, as you can see, volcanic explosion ready to erupt. So literally these craters on my face, like they need to pop, like, come on, it's not but anyways this eyeliner like i said again another holy girl product of mine this is just pure bomb like so you guys can see like my wings look sharp like hella sharp ready to cut you're not gonna say it but it's really 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 sharp like look let me see was that close enough like it looks really bomb so like honestly that wet mild highlighter highlighter eyeliner is the best eyeliner in the drugstore in my opinion in my opinion i didn't really care too much for this elf highlighting palette it was okay in terms of the eyeshadows the elf eyeshadows blended really well even though i only used like a couple shades of that one but they blended really well so i do like i did like that one um let's see what else did i use the profusion um the profusion which was it i think the metallics palette it didn't really impress me that much i swatched some of them and um it didn't really work for me so that's why i just ended up going with the jaclyn hill and then i ended up find, finding this cover girl um exhibitionist liquid eyeshadow which another holy grail these are so freaking good um honestly for the stila stila magnificent metals there's a lot of dupes nowadays but i think this one really hit the mark on it because the glitter was nice like super pretty but not so overpowering well, i'm like oh my god it's just way too much glitter and that's why i feel like i never go i'm not like i'm not super big on glitter on the eye and i think it's just because like i don't know like that's just how i am like i'm not super like oh my god like i need glitter i need i just i'm cool with shimmer and that's it like i don't need glitter on my eyes like it's not necessary for me so this look bomb bomb bomb.com so i definitely recommend a lot of these products that i use don't forget to like this video comment down below what you think of this makeup and what products you have of these what do you think of the products that i use today just comment down below talk to me down below i hardly ever get any comments but whatever i'm just saying comment down below um don't forget to subscribe if you have not and again ring the notification bell so you know if i want to post my next video but yeah that's it for today hope you guys enjoyed this video bye